What is going on guys? My name is Ernie, this is my YouTube channel, I Fish Fresh and Salty. And if you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. And make sure you check out all the other cool adventures that I do have. But today, we are in Northern California, fishing off the bay, inshore fishing. Super excited, especially with exactly what's going on guys with this with this world, with the COVID-19. So, I am practicing my, my social distance, so I am out here and having a good time just to have a good breath of air. I just got off work not too long ago. And if you wanna check it out right now, this is where we're gonna be. We're waiting for this incoming tide to come in and we're gonna be waiting and uh, we're gonna go after stripers and halibuts. But hopefully we could hook up into a fish and have a great catch and cook like I always do have guys. So I'll see you guys when I hook up. Let's freaking go. Here we go guys. First cast of the day if you guys can see we got the incoming tide coming in high peak is about an, another three hours but it's probably about three four feet right now so let's give it a shot it's a regular steady retrieve using a cast master. Dude, I got hit, dang it. I got hit. It might've been a little shaker. Hooked up, hooked up, baby. Mason, get that, get that camera for me, please. Mason, get that camera. Mason, right here by Manny. Oh, he came off. No. Manny, can you get the camera? Just hit the record. Oh my God. Oh my God, again, bro. That was a nut. Oh, he's still there. Came back Hold on, no he did. Be easy, be easy. Hold on. Just let him get tired. Or unless he came. Swam in with it. That's a good one, dude. That's a nice one, guys. Check that out. Benny, can you turn that on for me? Just the top button. Yeah, go ahead, pick it up. Pick it, can you pick it up and... All right, guys, check this out. First striped bass. I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know if he came back for it, but I don't know if he swam in, swam in but beautiful size striper, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take those uh, out with some pliers because working with trebles is uh, crazy, but we're gonna measure them up. For sure, keeper size looks about 20, 21 maybe. So let's go ahead and uh, check them out. But beautiful, let me go ahead and get them here. Let's check them out. Look at that guys, check that out. That's what's up man, out here inshore bay fishing. Love uh, love the city of San Francisco. We're well, actually, we're not in San Francisco, we're in um, San, Mateo. San Mateo, so. Beautiful striper guys, look at that. That's what's up, huh? Hit it hard. Look how it's hooked right, right there. Beautifully hooked, wasn't getting away. Nope. All right guys, look at that guys. Absolutely epic, beautiful. I love it, man. 
hooked them right here. Those trebles weren't going anywhere. Let's put them on that stringer and let's get back at it. Woo! Yeah, baby. All right, guys, really quick. Super stoked that I hooked up to a striper. And I literally just purchased this like the other day. So it's always a great feeling. You guys know uh, when you buy new toys, especially doing something that you love. So I did go ahead and get a ballistic Daiwa 4000 series. Super sweet setup. Uh, I got J braid 30 pound on here and I'm using a braided X Kronos. Really nice uh, setup guys. It's like a 7.2 size. And all day today, I've been throwing a three quarter ounce chrome Castmaster uh, with a little bit, of, um, a little bit of bucktail white, white color. And I have about, I would say about three and a half feet of uh, fluorocarbon leader. So that's what's uh, out here and uh, inshore fishing, and it's successful. Let's see if we can hook up to some more. What's up guys, just finished the pretty cool little, we only had like a three hour session, so hey, I can't complain, right? Nice, beautiful, thick size striped bass. Um, yeah, this was the go-to guys, uh, this uh, Acme Castmaster three quarter ounce. And yeah, pretty cool setup, I'm so happy that I got it. We're gonna be doing a nice catch and cook back at the house. Hope you guys can pick me up, it is super windy right now. But I will see you guys back at the house play table or in the kitchen welcome back to the house guys join this beautiful weather just outside in the backyard wish we could get in the pool but it's not pool weather yet but it is almost there so today I have potatoes I'm gonna be doing red and yellow baby potatoes I'm just gonna dice them up put them in this casserole put these seasonings uh, I'm gonna do this before the fish because it's gonna take obviously about an hour hour change possibly this is gonna be going in the oven and like always guys, when it's great weather, have a little sip of beer. So all I'm gonna be doing guys is, um, also too, I'm just using, uh, it is a fillet knife, but I love using these knives, an eight inch Dexter Outdoors um, knife. So technically what I'm doing there is just gonna be dicing each one into fourths, even though they are baby, but this is gonna be our side dish for our uh, fish that I'm gonna be doing. Really excited to have the fresh striper that I did catch yesterday. So let me go ahead and uh, dice this up and not bore you guys. All right guys, just got done dicing these beautiful, oh, we just lost one little member, but dicing these yellow and uh, red potatoes. Next thing that we're gonna be do doing guys, saved it, it's on my, uh, on my chair. So we'll put them back in. Gonna use some avocado oil. Oops. All right guys, let's put a little bit in here and about that much. I'm just gonna use one hand and do a nice little mix. And then we're gonna be putting our three seasonings. We're gonna be putting Italian seasoning, some paprika, and some sea salt. So we're just gonna coat these guys just so they are non-stick because this is going into the oven. Nice. So with my non-oily hand, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it. There we go. So let's put the first seasoning, the Italian. Good amount. I guess I love I love good seasoning. I don't like to overpower it, but good seasoning is great flavor. So about that much, and some salt. And some paprika. And we mix. Go ahead and mix it up with your hands, guys. Kept this nice and dry, so I don't, uh, I don't like wash, or I obviously if I get like fish or anything on there, um, just meat or whatever, obviously wash it off. But if you get one hand dirty, works as well. So that's it. We're gonna be walking this on over to our oven, and then we'll go ahead and get started on the fish. Into the oven, guys. I have it at 400 degrees, and we're gonna do it for about an hour. I'm not gonna put a timer, but I'm gonna check in an hour. Let's go ahead and get the striped bass out of the out of the pelican cooler, guys. 
nice and ice cold. Love these coolers. Keeps your ice super, super fresh. So I did catch this beautiful striper yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet them and make them some, make some blackened fish. Let's go ahead and knock these fillets off, guys. This is a 21 inch striper. So first thing, once again, using a six inch uh, fillet knife out of Dexter's. So what I like to do, just go ahead and uh, right, right behind the, the gill plate, just make an incision and come on up where the head meat is at, where it stops and just bring it all along down to the stomach. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start, start it behind the spine. Just a little incision. Also too, having your fish nice and ice cold makes the fillet job a lot better and obviously having a sharp knife too. So you just go ahead and get this started here along the side. All right, all the way down. And now we're just gonna do nice strokes along the spine. And I'm gonna poke, poke on through where the, where the stomach is at, or lower than the stomach, and just bring it down. Out the tail. We're gonna go over these, these bones here. Beautiful. First slab of filet, guys. Beautiful, nice, thick meat. This would be about, I don't know, I mean, it could be about two servings, maybe one, maybe three servings, depending on who wants to enjoy this. But beautiful, guys, look at that. Just completely, and then you got the, the bones, the ribs that are stick up high, so we just went over them. And then these do have, actually, before we slip, flip it on over to the other side, uh, let's go ahead and find find the pin bones right here there you go now we're just gonna go ahead and take the skin off and to take the skin off I'm gonna be using this nine inch Makes the job a lot easier. Same, same again from Dexter. I like to start tail side first and bring it on up. Make a little incision. I'm not gonna go heavily down because if you guys do notice, these stripers do have on their skin a good amount of bloodline. I don't really, I'm not really too fond of that. So I'm not gonna heavily go down all the way down on the meat. Beautiful guys, that's perfect. That's perfect exactly how I want. Just a little bit of that bloodline. As you guys could tell, hopefully you guys could see that in the sun. But just a little bit of the regular filet, but obviously the darker meat. Let's see if I can actually take it off. Yeah, so if I were to do it guys, that's what you're gonna be getting. So, there it goes. Let me go ahead and knock the other side off guys. Before we uh, move on to the cooking part, guys, sometimes, well not all, sometimes, I never show you guys, but I always like to see inside of these guys' stomachs from saltwater fishing to freshwater fishing, and let's just see what he's been munching on. It's pretty gross, but when you find pretty cool things in here, it's to see exactly what they're eating, so, and you better believe it, Nice size anchovies right there. Good amount of them. I believe they're anchovies. That's what it looks like to me. Look at that. Already decomposed little spine. So, yeah. <laughs> he was hungry. He hit that uh, cast master and he already had a nice full belly. So these, these guys are such predator fish. That's pretty cool, just wanna show you guys. 
All right, guys, before we put this fish on my uh, black mat, I've been making some grilled onions. I already did add a little bit of oil, but we're gonna be making a little bit more flavorful. Uh, curry gold, garlic, and herb butter. If you guys haven't tried it, pick it up. Absolutely delicious. So pretty much what I'm just doing is just making flavor to these grilled onions. So yeah, I'm gonna just let that melt. I got this on medium low heat and I'm gonna get the fish nice and seasoned up. Cleaned everything up, fish is ready to go. So we ended up getting that, out of that nice striper, we're gonna feed four people. So it's gonna be able to feed four of us deliciously with the potatoes, grilled onions, and that fresh fish. So it's very simple what I'm gonna be doing, guys. I'm gonna be putting melted butter. Uh, this is also Kerrygold butter, but not the herb and garlic um, uh, but butter. So we're just gonna do blackened seasoning from Cajun's Choice. So first thing what I'm gonna be doing is diving these down into the butter. That's gonna be our, our wash here. So butter makes flavor, right? So let's go ahead and put that Cajun on there, guys. So we're gonna be blackening the fish, both sides. Yeah, seasoning smells great. The more that you put on, the spicier the Cajun it is. So just gonna keep doing these, washing them in here. And I'll meet you back at the grill, guys. These babies are ready for the grill, guys. So I got the black uh, grill mat that I love to use on my, on my grill. These guys are pretty much done. They smell delicious. I can't wait to try them out. So let's go ahead and put these beautiful slabs down, guys. Yeah. Go. And last one. Just gonna close the grill. Flip them a little bit. Let's give it a little flip, guys. As you can tell, maybe you can see that. It's about medium, like the bottom part is all white. I don't know if you guys could catch that on the camera, but it's all white. Let's do a nice little flip. That's exactly, look at that guys. White meat, smells delicious with this blackened seasoning. Semi get those grill marks from underneath the black grill mat. And look at that guys, can't wait. So we're just gonna do another couple more minutes and let's get this baby served. Fish is pretty much done guys, so go ahead and check it out. And I'm gonna be putting some Parmesan Classic, shredded cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it melt on there. Nice, I'm not gonna be doing them. Um, I'm only gonna do it to two of them because the other family members don't want them. So I'm just gonna let that melt, close the lid, and we'll be serving our plate. All right, guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and serve this delicious um, meal that I'm preparing. So look at that, guys. Delicacy of the Parmesan. You get that crispiness. It smells so good. So we're gonna go ahead and put that, put that there. And let's move on over. And we're gonna grab our grilled onions. And I'm gonna smother, smother it on top. And then our potatoes that cooked in the, um, baked in the oven. So like two scoops, because like I said, we're gonna be sharing about with four people. Let's go ahead and sit down and taste it out. Here it is guys, the best moment actually from fishing, from from everything that I do out there in my adventures is actually making a delicious meal for myself and for my family right now, guys. So let's go ahead and put this fresh uh, tomatillo, um, really spicy. My mom made it last night, so it's super fresh. And I'm just gonna cover my fish as well. And a little bit on my potatoes because I love salsa, I love spiciness. So first thing is dipping this and there you go. 
Get that crispy Parmesan cheese. Wow. Charvy here is giggling. We got people next to our neighbors in the spa, so can't, can't avoid it, all the noises. So. A plus, guys. This is, there's no words. It's delicacy with the grilled onions, the sauce, the blackened fish, super white, tender flavor on the striped bass. Some potatoes. Oh my God. A little bit of salsa. Unbelievable. Rate this an A plus. Go ahead and try this out. Very simple, guys. Potatoes, your blackened fish with your cheese, or if you don't want, you don't want any cheese. Don't. You don't need to put it down. So, I hope you guys like this episode. I hope you guys like this outing. And if you guys did, like I said in the beginning of the video, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I do have plenty more awesome adventures coming, really big adventures coming. So, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Later, guys.